what's going on youtube ali dope checking in once again with a brand new tutorial today we're gonna do rookie of the year job ja morant a vintage t-shirt design 90s meets the 2000s so now you know how it always starts you gotta cut out pick your pictures that you want to use i try to stay with the same color scheme the grizzlies have like 10 different jerseys but we're gonna go old school since this is an old school design clean up the little parts now this one i'm actually making a big head type design so all you gotta do is cut out the person's head and make it a little bit larger than the body that's the quick way i do that because a lot of the 90s t-shirts had like big bubble head type design designs with like cartoons and stuff but quick way you know to switch it up you know with these type of designs there's a lot of people doing the vintage style right now so you just want to separate yourself from the pack This time you just make a layer mask and then you just erase on the layer mask i don't like erasing directly on the layer unless i'm going to use it because uh, sometimes you might need to bring back uh, the piece that you deleted then you have to start all over so this i'm just desaturating it adding a blending mode little color trying to pick something that's going to be contrasty to his jersey or his shoes. Once again, we're gonna get ready to desaturate right here. Make it a black and white. Once again, this time, we're actually gonna paint on a layer mask. So sometimes you can take away things, stuff like that, but this time we just added the color back to his jersey. Excursion, or however you say it, 3D, in the program just to give it a little depth or depth, whatever, however you supposed to say it. And you just increase the extrude a little bit. Now, this, we're just gonna warp and the background look with the skew and then just give it a little character that's it you don't want to just throw the picture on there and leave it so i just add a little shape to it now what i am gonna do i'm gonna put a pack for five dollars before the last two packs was free this pack is gonna be five dollars and i'm gonna include like five different fonts the selective colors that i used and I'm gonna add a few textiles in there as well. So that's five dollars. There's a lot of packs going out here for 20, 30. I'm gonna get there, but I just want to hook y'all up. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people was asking me to give Fuller's pack for free, and I was like, no, because I paid for my money. <laughs> so I just made my own. So now look, if you look on the textile here, you'll see some of the entries that you need to put in for each of the blending options so you could just copy these same settings i'm not putting them in the bio or anything so just run this video back and watch and then just take the, the entries and put them into yours if you like this textile or you can use the one in the pack if you're being cheap Now 
now I'm just using some colors that's gonna match the theme that we're going for right now. We're now we're gonna add a gradient to the stroke. That's not a regular solid, so that is a gradient stroke. drop shadow to the main image that's over the text to give it once again some depth depth whatever just throw some extra text in there he's rookie of the year this year he had a great season so i'm just gonna put that on there and once again these fonts will be in the pack for five dollars in the bio in the description i mean these packs will be available for five dollars link in the description support the channel again we're just putting some old 90s type effects on there they used to put like their heights weight position sometimes they put the points on there stuff like that so. and then i didn't like this font for some reason so i just got another one once again these textiles and fonts will be in the pack in the description below five dollars people you can't beat that five dollars getting textures fonts textiles Details underneath. We're gonna add a selective color next to the main image to give it some more red hue in his skin to match, you know, the overall theme. And when you're making these, you want to keep it to like one, two, three, four colors max, really, because these shirts are made to be printed, and screen printers go based off of the CMYK mode. So that's why. Background, oh yeah, and this pack description below. We're gonna throw some backgrounds in there too. Don't miss out. Now you add a blending mode to the background image over the background image to give it some texture. Gave another selective color to the second image to make it a little bit darker. Check these settings right now. These are from I'm gonna add a little 
extra to make it pop a little bit. Go ahead and desaturate that. Make the levels off to get rid of some of that extra stuff. Are right, we gonna flip it because it's in the way? All right. Now clean it up a bit. Yeah, now we're gonna add the final little texture overlay to give it that nice vintage feel. Bring the opacity down a little bit, you know Killing the image, you know what I'm saying? So. Right now I'm just trying to find a space that's not so heavily crunchy. And that's pretty much it, really. I'm just gonna add it to the little mock-up just so y'all can see how it looks on the t-shirt, but that's it man thank you guys man don't forget to like subscribe comment share five dollar pack in the description below till next time